So now let's uh, look at a model in which the wages do not respond to UI, so exactly the same. Which, as I was saying, is, um, seems to be the most realistic case. And actually, the production function is linear. Okay? Which is going to give us uh, a horizontal labor demand. Okay, so what's an example of such a model? Well, so this is exactly uh, the model, the rigid wage the model, uh, the matching model with rigid wages that we studied uh, earlier. Yes, I drew be an example here. Okay, so what happened? What's going to be different here? So let's uh, plot our labor market diagram. So here we have the zero. Here we have employment, tightness. Labor force is one, all right. Then let's move on and plot our labor supply. Great, and then let's plot our labor demand. So now we have a, a linear production function. So what we remember is that once the production function becomes linear, the labor demand is actually horizontal here. So our labor demand is going to look like this. That's the labor demand. Oh, let's call it theta d. Now, the labor demand <coughs> does not even depend on uh, UI because we assume that wages do not depend on UI. So that's theta d here. Okay, um, all right, so where is the equilibrium, the equilibrium is here. How much employment do we have? Employment is going to be here. Okay, unemployment, of course, that we have, you know, is, uh, we can bring it here. Okay, and the tightness, of course, that prevails is given by the labor demand. Okay, so then we are we all set. Now, same question: What happens if I decide to increase UI? Okay, so what happens to the labor demand? What well, the labor demand is not changed. The only way that the labor demand could respond is if wages responded to UI, but here we've just made the assumption um, that wages do not respond to UI. So labor demand stays the same. What happened to the labor supply? Well, that's exactly like in the previous example. If you increase UI, uh, people have less incentive to search, so search effort tends to drop and that tends to reduce the labor supply. So our labor supply is going to shift inside. So we'll have an inward shift of the labor supply. Okay. Uh, so what happens here? Well, in fact, in equilibrium here, the uh, tightness is not going to change uh, because the labor demand hasn't changed. So the new equilibrium is going to be here. The same tightness level. New employment. The prime is going to be here, so 
so that's basically what happened. So here we have no change in tightness, we have a reduction in employment. And so what, uh, what causes that reduction in employment? Well, it's what we had called earlier the moral hazard um, channel. It's because you change a UI program, the government cannot control how people search for jobs. So people just respond to incentives the best they can. You increase UI search effort falls, and that's going to reduce employment. So that's just, there's only uh, the moral hazard channel at, uh, at play here. No earlier, so I'm going to, I'm going to put it. So here is just purely moral hazard that leads to the reduction in uh, so moral hazard means that effort is less uh, that leads to the reduction in employment. Uh, earlier, that reduction in employment caused by less effort was dampened was attenuated by the fact that it was you know tightness would go up in equilibrium, which would kind of alleviate the reduction in employment. Here it's not the case because the labor demand is completely horizontal. So if people search less, you know, it, it has no effect on tightness because labor demand just sets an amount of tightness that's fixed. And so uh, when people search less, labor supply shifts, but because labor demand is horizontal, there's no equilibrium response of tightness that can kind of dampen. So the only effect, there's no like kind of right rest channel here. Uh, here's the only effect is the moral hazard channel that reduces uh, employment. And so here, you know, if people, if search effort responds very strongly to UI, then you could have like a big negative effect on employment when you increase UI. Uh, so it's all determined by the response of effort to UI in that model. And in particular, if we want to uh, introduce again uh, our elasticities, the micro and macro elasticity of unemployment with respect to UI. You know, we had introduced these two notions earlier in this diagram, right? Uh, we had our uh, micro elasticity here, and we had our macro elasticity here. And the key difference was that the micro elasticity was computing, keeping tightness constant, whereas the macro elasticity would take into account also the equilibrium adjustment in tightness. Um, but here, tightness, as you can see here, remains exactly the same, you know, uh, before and after the change in UI. So the microelasticity with a small m is exactly equal to the microelasticity with a big M. Okay? So what that means is that the equilibrium change in employment, which is a macro, which captures the macro effect, is the same as uh, the change in the employment probability faced by one single worker who have his UI change, you know, what we would call a micro effect, an effect that doesn't affect the whole market, just an individual worker. That micro effect is the same. So whether you change UI for just one worker, or whether you change UI for the entire market, the employment probability will change by the same amount, okay? So taking a micro or a macro perspective has no, makes no difference here, okay? So that's pretty simple. So here, what are uh, to sum up? What are the effects of um, what are the effect of an increase in UI in that model? So of course. Uh, Employment is going to fall and unemployment is going to increase. Uh, so we started with that earlier. Right. Key difference is tightness. So here, tightness doesn't change, unlike in the previous model where tightness was going up. So that's actually, if you want to compare the two models, you can compare the response of tightness. Effort, of course, is going to fall, like in the other model. And then if we go up, Right, and the last thing is what about the elasticities? So the micro elasticity of unemployment with respect to UI is equal to the micro elasticity uh, 
So these two elasticities that compare the effect of UI on unemployment. So they are positive because you, an increase in UI will increases unemployment, but here whether you take the micro and macro perspective, it makes no difference. Um, kind of the reason is that tightness hasn't responded in the Q. Um, 